Hello ladies, welcome to Is It Gaming, the show where we decide if it's gaming or not. I'm your host, Ravioli Supremo. And I'm Saltman, the co-host. Today we're going to be playing South Park on the- Shut up, we're playing Chex Quest HD. Chex Quest HD, what the hell? Here we are. Chex Quest. We've got a wide selection of characters. Wow, look at all these iconic characters like Fred, Wheatney, Dr. Orion, Shane. And then two other guys. We were investigating these blobules as proof Dude, is that Metapod? Other planets, Bruh, we no way. That, that is crazy. When the eggs are exposed to nutritional substances, they hatch into Calm. what we call flamoids. Using cum turns him into a green character. Look, see? He's angry. He hasn't had his caffeinated beverage yet. Exactly. We need a volunteer to fly to the caverns of Bazoik and attempt to rescue the missing units there. That's ridiculous. What soldier be fool enough to enter a cavern full of unstoppable flamoids from another He does not look like his voice should sound like that. He looks like he should have a Scottish accent. It all comes down to me, again. It all comes down to me again. Looks Aww. like it's time for me to be a girl boss and totally kill these green characters. Damn it, I was I was really hoping she wouldn't be like that. Like like I was genuinely like she's I don't know what they were think. kinda hoping she wasn't gonna be like a girl boss character. I know. Like a whiny brat that everyone's supposed to be like, oh yeah, slay queen. If she didn't say again then I'd be fine with it. I don't Maybe care. Maybe if she didn't talk at all, it'd be good. Yeah, strong independent women are good if they're not too strong independent. <sighs> the green cumulon is all over this. Wow, that's disgusting. How is this game supposed to be for kids? Can I go on here? Is there this came with I... This came with cereal back in the 90s. Well, not this version. This is the, this is the uh, real 3D enhanced version, I guess. Yeah, I see. So why exactly did you want to play this game out of all the video games ever made? Uh, well, I actually didn't know that this existed until like a few days ago. Uh, so what happened was I was doing research for a school assignment, right? Uh, it was on like, um, violent video games and such. And the article I was gonna I was gonna source just happened to use Chex Quest as the example, as the only example for a vi non-violent violent video game. So I'm like, oh my god, Chex Quest of all games, which is which? Yeah, like of all games made, like that's the example they came up with, not Mario. Not Kirby, mm -hmm. not Honey Pop, not 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 helping what? out the hotties, not Sex and the Furry you, Titty, what? not Sakura Succubus. You, literally, you, like the, that. What? Those are, are all the games that they could have mentioned that are non-violent. They could have mentioned, but instead they mentioned this game that literally three or four people heard of before they before Watch Mojo made a list talking about the top ten uh, food licensed video games. Yeah, okay, but anyways, then after that, I'm like, oh my god, Chex Quest, look at that, and I said that to my friend who, uh, is usually asleep during this, that period, and I was gonna show him, I was gonna show him Chex Quest, and I'm like, and I was like, look, like, look at this, look at this, Chex Quest, it's, it's, it's Doom, but, but it's Chex, the serial, and then I, and then I notice, Chex Quest HD, on Steam. And I'm like, my reaction was pretty much the same as yours earlier. Like, I literally said, what the hell? Because I... Am I out of fucking ammo? Yeah, you're out of ammo. Go find ammo. Shit. Uh, anyways. Or skill. I'll go with skill. Yeah, that's my favorite part of a video game. When, uh, when you pick up something, it does a voice line but then you pick up multiple things so the voice lines overlap with each other and you can just hear multiple multiple audio files just sort of you know overlapping each other that's my favorite part of video games hey have you considered seeing if you could switch your weapon a spoon oh wow if you look at the shadow here the yeah, spoon that's... floats. 
Yeah. Yeah, the spoon is almost it's almost as if they didn't even try to line the spoon up with the with the, your actual shadow. Why well, use a plastic spoon instead of a instead of a metal spoon? That's not that's not good. You're teaching kids to use plastic instead of metal. Like plastic is not biodegradable. So once you throw plastic away, it actually harms the environment more than you think. Believe it or not, plastic cannot be recycled. So throwing out your plastic cu uh, cups and containers in the recycling is a big waste of time. Mhm. Mm what you think? You think they turn it into shoes? You know what's actually getting recycled? Cardboard, uh, wood, all of that shit. That's all recycled. Plastic. You know where plastic ends up? Third, third world countries, landfills, and kids who have no house will eat the plastic and die. Think about it. Every time you drink bottled water or use plastic spoon or throw out any bit of plastic, you are killing African children. Yeah. Think about that. Not even specifically African children, just any poor child. I use Africa as an example because uh, from what I have seen through the media, Africa is typically a very poor country. Africa has got to be one of the poorest countries I've ever seen. Oh, crap. you you are di gonna die. Yeah, I thought I thought that if you just continued stabbing them, if they wouldn't. This level design is just ripping off a of, ripping off a of Bowser Castle Nintendo 64 version. Oh Jesus! Oh Christ. God, the model is not as good as I thought it would be. That is horrible. Oh, 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 I mean, oh, 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 yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, do that not, again. That's not bad. I mean, not not bad. I mean, like, I mean, like, remove the checks part. Just like, sort of, just rip the models. Just the, like, enhance the model face at least. Just to, you know. Mhm, mm mhm, mm definitely. Level two, let's do it. Level two, oh, wow, let's do it. You level know why she said that? It's because this is level two, and you have to do it. Whoa, this place is huge. This place is huge. The, these voice actors were paid minimum wage at at most. Did you hear the original Chex Quest voice actor passed away? That's awful. Yeah, he did. He had a he had a swollen lymph node. Uh, genu genuinely? Yeah, like genuinely, he passed away from swollen lymph nodes. I didn't know you. I didn't know that could kill you. Yeah, the original, the original voice actor, for for Chex for Chex Quest. The original. Damn. You see, this current one. They paid, uh, they paid interns to do voice acting, right? But they had an actual real-life actor, like, who was classically trained in theater, who died of swollen lymph nodes, uh, voice checks quest. That is sad. Uh, let's give a quick shout-out to him. Yeah. Let's give a, sh let's give a quick shout-out to, uh, to, uh, Erect Johnson. Erect Johnson. The original voice actor for Chex Quest. <laughs> e Rex Johnson. <laughs> Everyone really liked E Rex Johnson. Wait, hold on. He was the most prolific voice actor what, what's the of difference? all time. What's the difference between this and the other one? Well, that's that's the one that E Rex Johnson used when uh, his swollen lymph nodes under <laughs> under his testicles uh, exploded his testicles, and that's why he's dead. Mm -hmm. Swollen lymph nodes under his balls to kill E Rex Johnson. Now, where is this thing going? To heaven. E Rex Johnson is in a better place. I feel like I feel like there would be a much much better voice acting, like vo better lines. If, if Erek Johnson was still alive, he would have came back and reprised his role. If if maybe if I was playing as a different character too, maybe they recycled some of his voice lines. We'd have to have to check. So wait, does this just go around? Yeah, it goes around in a circle. Oh wow, that's pointless. Just like how uh, Erek Johnson's uh, lymph nodes were sort of just circling around in his nutsack until it exploded. <laughs> He can only go up from here, up into heaven. Rest his soul, Erek Johnson. Holy shit, that's a lot of cum. Yeah, wow. I, I mean, I'm I'm sure that this character you would not. Eugene Johnson mind. would be proud. I mean, if this char if this if uh, this character uh, Wheatney, uh, I, I would definitely love to see her uh, in ha in this whole giant 
giant pool right now. If have I go we in have there. Wheatney jump into the pool of cum? Oh wow, it's like solid. And for all you idiots, for all you dumbasses in the comments that are gonna be like, there's probably not gonna be any of you, but in a hypothetical situation where you're a dumbass and comment, oh that's not cum, you idiot, this is a kids game. I know it's not cum, dude. Why would they put cum in a kids game? That like, obviously it's fucking glue. Like you fucking well, grind yeah. it, you grind it the horse testicles and turn it into glue and you put it in a fucking vat out there for the kids game. Mm -hmm, exactly. That's the reason. That's the reason. I I knew a man in fifth grade. He ate glue. He ate glue each day. His like his his diet was um uh, ca baby carrots, uh, uh sometimes an apple, ham sandwich with glue on it and just glue. Just he brought a the tuba Elmer's glue. He'd offer it to me and I'd be like fuck you, you stupid bitch. Don't talk to me. And nobody liked him. He ate glue and he told people. He told people that uh, Erek Johnson was going to pass away, and we didn't believe him. Yeah. I mean, we should have believed him. I think, uh, yeah, Erek Johnson died of swollen lymph nodes, and he said to me in sixth grade, he said, Hey, you know, you know, uh, Erek Johnson is going to pass away from lymph nodes. And I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. Nobody oh, likes you. Do you still eat glue? And he's like, yeah, I still eat glue. I, I eat the clear kind, though, because it's healthier. And I'm like... You don't eat glue, you fucking bitch. Don't fucking be eating glue, you dumb cunt. Like, you fucking... He's just eating this by the heap full. Like, he squirts some into his hand, waits for it to dry, peels it off his fucking fingers, and eats it. I'm, I'm sure he still does it. Actually, I think I think he died too. Uh, but it, it's probably due to the fact that he got fucking poisoned from eating the glue for all these years. Like, eating the fucking paste. Like, like I said, he'd eat it by the heapful. The heapful. Yeah, he'd, he'd eat a heaping pile tablespoon of a fucking glue. He'd bring, like, it got really bad. He'd bring a jar of glue each day and just fucking eat it with his hands. Everyone thought he was gross and nobody talked to him. They only talked to him. And, like, the teacher talked to him and said, and said, Sherman, why aren't you, why are you eating glue, honey? Why are you eating glue? And Sherman was like, oh, I, I heard there was, like, health benefits. And it was like... Sherman, there's no there's no health benefits to eating glue, honey. You're gonna have to stop eating the glue. He's like, no, no, no. It's I hear there's health benefits. My my parents teach me there's health benefits. So on parent teacher night, fucking Sherman goes there. And Mr. and Mrs. Sherman are there, and they're like, what's this all about? You're stopping my son from eating his healthy diet. He's like, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. and Mrs. Sherman's parents, but like, he has been eating glue constantly. And he, I am worried for his health. And his dad's like, his dad's sitting there. He's a, he has a heavy, like, Texan accent. Uh, excuse me, they just drained the cum glue. Um, anyway, so. Yeah, you see, cause, cause, if it, if it, it, cause the glue, you see, if you stand on it, it's too solid. Like, what I'm saying is, the, the, the dad who has a very thick accent, he's like, Oh, oh there's health benefits, you can glue. And teacher's like, I can't with you people. This, you're gonna kill your son, and then and they're like, well, we want to kill. And I, I'm there too. I'm, I was there with my parents. They're like, and my dad comes over to me. He's like, at least you don't eat glue. And then, and then Sherman comes over and he's like, why is your dad making fun of me? And I'm like, fuck you, Sherman. That's why. I don't even think Sherman was a real name. I I haven't seen the man in years. I wonder if he's like a doctor. Maybe, yeah, if he's perhaps, not dead, then he's probably a doctor. Perhaps Those Sherman, happens to perhaps Sherman found a found the cure for cancer, but like, he still eats glue, so he's a loser. Think about it. You could find the cure for cancer. You could find a way to uh, unite the world. You could remove all the violence, all the horrible, disgusting crime of the world. But if you eat glue, that that is still you're still a loser. I'm gonna be completely honest. If one of you guys are watching this video currently right now and you eat glue, you're disgusting. Click off the video. If you're subscribed to the channel, unsubscribe. If you eat glue, I hate you. Uh, you're disgusting. Uh, don't eat glue. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. I actually don't know if there are any health benefits or risks to eating glue. 
I just assume it's like, uh, you know, when you when you're like che chewing on the fucking plastic end of the of the chlorine uh, jug, you know. The 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 what? You know when you're chew when you when you're like hungry, but you're not like really hungry, so you just chew on the cap of a chlorine t tank. What are you talking about? So when you b go to the pool store, you buy a thing of chlorine, right? But sometimes you'll get hungry, but not actually, you don't want to eat anything, you just want to chew. So, but you don't have any gum, so you chew on a chlorine tank's plastic lid. Hey, real question. If, uh, if someone, if someone made porn of this character, do you think the voice actor, if it's, if they're an actual voice actor, would be down to play the character? Absolutely not. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, probably I, not. I've seen a lot of stuff from voice actors in the time. Like... I don't think a single official character voice actor is willing to do Rule 34 of their character. Like, I'm sure they wouldn't get, like, if they made a- if they made a fucking Wonder Woman fucks Black Adam, they wouldn't get, uh... They wouldn't get official voice actors to do the voice of Wonder Woman and Black Adam. However! However, this is an offer for you, um... If you are making a Black Adam... Fox Wonder Woman uh, Rule 34 animation and you need a voice actor for Black Adam. Uh, I am completely free to do that. Like, I can voice Black Adam. I do a really good Black Adam He does. Do, he does a really good Black Adam. Like, not like the, the rock Black Adam. Like, the original Black Adam. No, it's like... I may not be able to do it right now, but I can tell you. I'll send you a voice reel of me doing Black Adam quotes. And, like, I'll voice in your project. It's like, it's not, you don't even have to pay me. I'll, I'll pay you to voice act in, the, I'll pay you for me to voice act in the project. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's fine. I'll use the same shitty mic that we use for as a gaming. I don't even give a shit. I, I think it would add, it would enhance the project, actually, to have me using a crappy $50 Amazon microphone. Wow, this place is huge. That peaks constantly. But yeah, that's, that's an open casting call. If you uh, feel the need to have a to have Black Adam as a character in your Rule Thirty Four animation, just con contact me at the at the following email that I put up on screen. Hey, what should I make the thumbnail of this video? Should I just make it like the renders from this game, or should I go out of my way to like find hentai of the characters and like crop it so that we can get more views off of the video? Uh, I'd say go out of your way. Hmm. What about? Both. What do you What do you mean both? I don't know. Find go out of your way and find hentai of the characters, but also use the game's render of the characters. Or no, oh no, you meant the game like re oh I did I thought you meant like the model of the a picture of like the characters. No, like, I mean model. like uh, somebody draws a character getting fucked, so I crop the I crop the image and make that the thumbnail, so I can clickbait viewers. Yeah, and by by render, I thought you meant like the 3D model of the character from the game. I don't understand why people do that. Like, they crop hentai and put it in the thumbnail. Like, that's kind of stupid. Because people are clicking on the video and they're like, Oh, oh, I can't wait to see hentai on YouTube. No. If you want to go see hentai, go to the fucking hentai site. Like, it's that simple. It's really just go on rule34.com. Go on rule39.net and fucking search up your favorite character. And you'll find the video that you're looking for. And you'll, find, you'll probably find the image in the thumbnail. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, though, it does feel a lot more rewarding if you don't, like, search it up on a website that it's supposed to be on. Like, if you just see, if you see, like, a bit of naked boobies on TV, and, like, that's the most it is, like, it feels a lot more rewarding than just going and searching it up. I mean, what if, what if you're just, like, chilling on the, chilling on the couch... You're you're like, hey, I want to watch pirated TV shows on on fucking a website. So you click on the show, and you see, oh, it's, uh, this looks fun. I click on it. Oh, it's an edgy anime, and it's just, it's bordering on hentai and anime, where it's got like, no f no real fucking, but like naked women are in it, and you can see visible breasts. What do you do in that situation? Is that rewarding too? I mean, it's. I would assume it's rewarding if you're searching for like, oh, what's a good one of these? You find it on Reddit, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna find it on the pirate website now. 
Am I am I making myself clear when I'm when I'm talking about no, this? No, no, you're you're making yourself very clear. Okay. Right. So what I'm asking you now is is that rewarding? Well, if there's a lot of it, then I don't think so. You know, that's that's what I did. Like when I found when I was on Reddit, I found the show Mock and Key and I, that's how I found that show. Now, uh, I'm going to be completely honest. If if you want to watch the show now because I'm telling you that I watched it, don't. Don't, okay? Like, if you're just gonna fucking copy everything that I do, you might as well call yourself Ravioli Supremo. You might as well buy yourself a shirt, a blue shirt that says me on it. You might as well wear sunglasses inside or outside, even though it's dark outside. Might as well host Izzy Gaming yourself. Might as well start your own fucking Izzy Gaming channel if you're just gonna copy everything I do, you fucking poser. The Science Lab. Remember to wear goggles. Or you will face there the is, wrath of Satan himself. There is four results on Rule 34 of Chex's Quest. Three of them are of the green Cumulon character. Oh, God. And two of them are just the same one, but one of them has a gray background. And it's not even good. Bro, there it's needs to be more. Good. There needs to be more. Any aspiring artists out there, uh, please. This is an open letter to all aspiring Rule 34 artists. Please go out of your way to uh, draw Rule 34 of the characters from this game. This is not. This is not a request. This is a demand. We demand you do this. If you are watching this far in the video and you are an aspiring artist, now is your opportunity. Uh, and if we and if you uh, send it to um, to us through our uh, through our Rumble account, if you send it to us through our Truth Social, then we will tell you we will tell you that you have won the uh, contest, and we are going to send you twelve dollars through PayPal. If it gets so bad, I'll draw my own fucking thumbnail. Like I don't have anything better to do. I haven't drawn a thumbnail in almost a year, I think. Last time I did was when we did the. Nia Neko Sugar Girls video, which wasn't even a dedicated video. We had to clip it from the original video that was supposed to come out because we got fucking claimed by the Among Us in Real Life woman. Yeah, we got claimed by Among Us in Real Life. Yeah, you know, we get copyright claimed all the time. But one thing these fuckers don't do is take down an entire hour-long video because we play 10 seconds of a, of a fucking music video that nobody liked. That people hated so much you had to disable the comments. Like a pussy. Here's the thing, when I was starting out on YouTube, uh, as a little kid, I used to get really sad when people would dislike my videos and call me an idiot. But, you know, here's the thing. The opinions of others on the internet, when they're just commenting and calling you stupid, none of that shit fucking matters. And especially when you're a grown adult and you can't handle... Like, people saying, oh, this video is poopy, oh, this video is gay. Grow up, like, people, people go, <laughs> grow up. Grow up. How old are you, 32? And you're fucking bitching about, <laughs> you're, you're fucking delusional. If I had to restart this level, that would just be poopy anus. Fun fact, did you know that there was a, uh, a Roman... Emperor, whose name was pronounced Poopy Anus. It's I true. think I did. I think I did know that. It's true. It's true. Wait for marriage invitation. Don't do this to me. Oh, no, that's the spoon. Okay, you know the guy that dresses up as Deadpool and goes to uh, like Comic Con and acts like a acts like Deadpool. What the fuck? Yeah, what? I just saw this. St I was trying to make a point about like oh, I'm getting vi I'm getting recommended weird ass videos, but I literally just get recommended a fucking like Greek god Jin Kazama getting swallowed by a giant water goddess with huge breasts. On a mobile game ad. And now he's fucking beautiful vixens in Olympus. You always use that word. What, beautiful vixens? Yeah. Like, nobody uses that word anymore. Like a beautiful, big-breasted goddess? Like, people use the word vixen, yeah. 
Yeah, if you're like forty to fifty. That's no, the, no, that's not true. Or perhaps foreign. Oh, that's not true. No, people, people use Vixen like. I, I use it on a daily basis. I'm a young man. I'm a young, strapping, handsome lad. You're over the age of 25. Yeah, that's true, but like at the same time, that's still young. Like, you're old if you're past 50. You're old if you're 28. You're old if you get hemorrhoids. Yeah, if you if you get hemorrhoids, then you're old. Yeah. Anyway. I forget the actual point I was making. Because this ad is so fuck. Why am I watching a mobile game ad of fucking Godass Vor? Like fucking gi gi Ginormica swallowing tiny man. Not even swallowing, just like flicking his nipples and fucking like sucking on his head. Choose which one to face. No, f don't face giant Medusa. Why is Medusa giant? What? Why is this woman fucking a horse? It's not even like actual fucking, but it's implied. She's in a she's in leather like lingerie, and she's like having coitus with a horse who is standing on two legs and talking. Okay, now he's met a beautiful goddess. Okay, it's actually the fish thing from the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. What the shit? The worst part is I'm probably not even gonna be able to find this so that I can give like a like an example and show it on screen for when I edit the video. Okay, now he has a baby with a with a mermaid. Who? No, the mermaid steals his baby. Now it's a fishing game. What in the fuck is going on? What's even happening? He's catching sharks and fish and whatnot. Oh, okay, now he's got to kill Zeus. Uh, you know, fuck this. I for I forget entirely what point I was gonna make. I'm fucking I'm fucking done. I I forget. What what was I saying before I saw the, the water goddess eating the fucking? I don't even remember. D Pity, the guy who makes the Deadpool Ah, yes. Cosplays. Deadpool. Yeah, but I forget what I was going to say about him. Remember when he did uh, a Gangnam Style at Comic-Con? Of course, Gangnam, Gangnam Style. Right, anyway. Now I actually remember what, what point I was making. So I watched one video of Jury from Street Fighter VI being a beautiful vixen, right? Uh-huh. Uh, and now I only get recommended her videos. Like, I'm not fucking complaining at the same time, but... I, but like, come on, I'm watching this on my main account. What if, what if, what if my my kids see this? What if my kids see this? Exactly. What if my wife sees this? Well, here goes nothing. Here goes these nuts. Why in the fuck is there a video of someone dressed as jury going to Comic Con, fucking stepping on people? This video is five minutes long. I will save this to the fucking Google Doc. Ah, oh, worms. Ah. Oh. Get away from me, you green worms. I remember when I had green worms. Just crawling in and out of my urethra. That was fucking disgusting. That... You called me the king of too they, much information. They look just like that cactus. You called me the king of too much information. Yeah, but when you do it, it's not funny because I have the impeccable comedic timing and the uh, enjoyable charisma. When you mention your fucking like tapeworm hopping in and out of your esophagus and like coming out and saying, Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. When have I ever said that? You, I believe you said that when we were doing the video on Shrek 2. I might have, but you also could be creating false memories. Yeah, I, I might even- we might have never even done a video on Shrek 2. I might- I might just be fucking with you. Cause I know I can- I can pretty much trick you into believing anything. Like, I tricked you there was a voice actor called, uh, called, um, Erect Johnson. Erect Johnson isn't real? No, he's not real. There's no fucking man named Erect Johnson. What are you, crazy? That's stupid. It was fucking Rectum Johnson, you asshole. Probably gonna need this. Shut the fuck up. You got paid two dollars. Wonder if IMDB has the voice act. No, I wonder if a behind the voice actors has the voice actors. You see, if there's one guy in the room, you can just stab them to death with a spoon. 
Now, if there's several of those why, guys... Why is it the Three Stooges, but it's voiced by Billy West and Frank Welker? That's not Check's Quest. Check's Quest HD. Okay, Google. Check's Quest HD voice actors. Why the fuck did you put a comma there? Check's Quest HD. Here we are. There Cast. We Eli James, Mikey Kelly, that's it. That's it. Nobody else wanted to be involved in this. Wonder if they uh, removed my vandalism of the of the neck. Have we told? Uh, have Holy we told shit! That story? Holy shit! Okay, okay. I don't know if we have, but now this is a perfect time to tell it. So, um, a few years ago, I signed into IMDb, right? And I thought it would be funny to uh, edit the page. I So, the singer Corey Taylor, who's known for Slipknot, he's also known for, like, having a big neck, right? We've always... Me and, me and uh, Salt have always made, like, in-jokes about his neck. So, I found a movie called Neck, which is a Japanese film that, like, apparently nobody's really ever heard of, right? So, I go on there... I jokingly add Corey Taylor into the cast as the neck. The fuckers have not changed it. It's been like that for years. Corey Taylor has nothing to do with it. And by adding Corey Taylor to the cast, it's instead of recommending other Japanese movies under the more like this, it's recommended uh, other things that Corey Taylor has been like related to like the like the rollerball reboot movie from 2002 like cuz cuz he was part of the he was part of the soundtrack and Corey Taylor was part of the cast for uh for Neck but he never was he was and then and then to add insult to injury I also wrote a review that ended up as the featured review a 10 out of 10 star review that said, Great movie, awesome movie, Corey Taylor killed it as the neck, 10 out of 10 would watch again. Corey Taylor killed it as the neck. What the fuck was I even doing? That is Several be, drugs, probably. That has got to be the most interesting yet, like, bullshit thing I've ever done. Like, I... That's that's the only I vandalized IMDb like a few times actually, but but like the thing is, this is the only one that they haven't changed because nobody fucking feels like oh yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and fact check the movie Neck on here. But like I've never seen the movie Neck either, so if if any of you want to see the movie Neck, the Japanese movie Neck. Come, come watch it, and then tell me in the comments if Corey Taylor is actually in it as as a character called the Neck. <laughs> like, I'll put a screenshot up. I'll put a screenshot to show you, like when I'm editing, because it's fucking insane the way that the way that they just left it, <laughs> the way that they just kept him as as the as the cast. <laughs> Alongside like a bunch of Japanese people, it's just Corey Taylor. <laughs> He shows up like halfway through the movie. He's like, "Sup, I'm the neck." Everyone's speaking Japanese. He's speaking English. That's all he says. Like it'll be a serious, dramatic scene, and it'll be like, "No, you can't. You can't." He'll interrupt. He'll interrupt them by saying, "Hey, what's up? It's me, the neck." But like nobody will even acknowledge it. He'll just say it. Where are you right now? Are you in fucking Adam Sandler's biodome? That wasn't Adam Sandler. Pauly Shore. Pauly Shore. Shore. Adam Sa what movie was Adam Sandler in? Uh, I believe he was in, um... I don't know The what... movie title, the movie's full title started with a B and ended with an E. And that's why I thought it was... Billy Madison. <laughs> that's... <laughs> Billy... <laughs> <laughs> it's not Billy Madison. <laughs> Billy Madison. Bla Happy Gil. Is it? E. 
Oh, no, it's Happy Gilmore. No, it's not. <laughs> Bappy Gilmore. <laughs> Okay, the soundtrack kind of sounds like this one hentai racing game that I own. I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel yet. You might have. I mean, you you literally have over 24 hours on that game. I do. I don't know why. That does. It's. I've tried it out. It's not that fun. Well, I mean, you have to have controller support. I mean, you like you tried it out on on like the Steam Deck, and I had to like, and for some reason it wouldn't let me map the shoulder buttons as like controls. So I had to give it like gay, like stupid controls. Yeah. I was not. I was not gonna say gay. Gay is not a way that you insult things. I don't. I don't say stuff like that. But like, I'd only say. I'd only say it as an insult if I'm like using it as an example. Like I like earlier. Uh huh. If you're using like good button mapping and shit. Like on the control on controller. But yeah, if you have like the good like if you have a controller so that you can get good controls for it. I did not just get slimed right now. Yo, you just got slimed! Oh! Oh my God. What time is it right now? It's 5.40. <sighs> There's no way it's 5.40 right now. It's 5.40, dude. I just checked the time. It's 5.40. <sighs> We're never going to figure out how this game ends. You know, you know how it ends? Um, uh, I, I'm actually in this game, and I fuck the character you're playing as. You know what? That that sounds that sounds like a good a good ending. So, Check's Quest, though, is it gaming? It's for for what it is, I'd say it's gaming. If you're if you're expecting a full enjoyable like full length game that you can keep coming back to, then not really, but for a free game, I'd say I say it's I'd say it's pretty gaming. Hmm. For a free game, I'm not saying like in comparison to like pay for and like like actual like real video games but as a free game on steam that you can just pick up and just start playing it's i'd say it's sort of worth your time okay so you'd say it's gaming yep gaming. well then that settles it yeah it's gaming even though i had said like a few rude things about it at the start i was just kidding I was just kidding. But my request, my re demands to the Rule 34 artist, that, that was not a joke. I'm being dead serious. Also, make sure to hit me up at this email that I put on the screen if you would like me to voice uh, Black Adam or Dark Adam in your next upcoming project.